Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer for the week ahead. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to do it a little bit differently this time. We're just going to see what comes up. This is for the week ahead, the 11th through the 16th. We're going to go day by day. So it will be a little bit different. This is just something new I'm trying. Let me know if you like it or not, um, or if I should go back to the other way. Um, so what do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May 11th? What do we have for Cancer? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. We're talking about today. Okay. Um, worried. <laughs> regrets. You may be having somebody that is that is very regretful. They're worried. They have a lot of regrets. They're feeling guilty. They may, And this is an expression of love right here. The Knight of Cups. Somebody could be coming in. Um, wanting a relationship, wanting romance. This, it's a very sensitive time. This is um, could be you or the person that you're dealing with on Monday. But this is worried, uh, exhausted, extremely exhausted with the Nine of Swords reversed. Somebody's giving deep thought to the relationship. Um, when you get the Nine of Swords reversed, you could be dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions. You really need to follow your gut. But you know, with the Knight of Cups, maybe you're just thinking that. Maybe you're just paranoid. I gotta be honest with you, because this could be paranoia. So Monday, you know, the Knight of Cups, but it might not be. So this is really difficult. We'll, we'll get some more cards for this in a minute. Let's move on to Tuesday. Three of Wands reverse for Tuesday the 12th. We got three. We gotta take them. King of Swords and the Temperance. Be patient. Patience. This is an exchange. Patience is needed. Um, somebody is making a logical decision on Tuesday, unprepared, need to think about this. You need to, you know, investigate perhaps. Anyway, let's go on to Wednesday. We're going to come back to these. Wednesday, two cards. The, oh my goodness, look at that. The Harrow font reverse versus the Hermit upright. Very similar energies, not the same by any means, but similar so let's move on to Thursday. Thursday is the 14th. Ooh! Friday. Oh my god. Saturday. Ah. Okay, and an overall energy for the week for cancer and overall energy for the week please one card for an overall energy for the week eight of cups well 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 you know we all know what the eight of cups is the eight of cups is walking away from something that is emotionally disappointing so this may be a week where somebody is taking the high road you know i gotta leave this behind I want wish fulfillment. I want extreme happiness. I'd rather be alone than be with the wrong one. I'm just being honest. The Eight of Cups is emotional disappointment. Um, walking away, you know, it is. It is. It's saying goodbye. It's leaving. So leaving something behind that is not fulfilling you. So that's the overall energy for the week. Whether somebody is leaving you or you are leaving them. And it doesn't have to be a partner. You know, it, most of the time it is right in these readings but not always a partner could be you know somebody that you live with it could be a work partner it could be somebody is saying goodbye okay so the knight of cups the knight of cups on monday this is monday today the 11th or whenever you watch it this is wanting romance, wanting your relationship, dreaming about it, being very intense, feeling an intense emotion. It may be a little overwhelming. There could be some regrets. There could be some sadness. There could be some paranoia on Monday. And you really need to give deep thought to who it is that you're dealing with. And maybe that's what you're doing on Monday. Do I want to be in this relationship? This is stressful. This is a stressful relationship or a stressful whatever it is okay it's stressful it is um extremely stressful so i think that on monday this is considering who you're with do i want to keep doing this do i want to be in a relationship with this person yeah there's some feelings there but the stress is big 
the stress is big. So Monday, there's a feeling of overwhelming um, thoughts, despair, anguish, okay? There's, there is, I'm, I gotta be honest with you. On Tuesday, Tuesday the 12th, this is not prepared, lack of foresight, three of wands reversed, okay? This is no vision, not seeing the opportunities. Somebody may have wasted some time needing to really think about things and wait, perhaps, be patient. This comes after a death. Temperance is allowing and accepting change. So on Tuesday, you may be becoming more logical and you're re ready for a change. You're ready for something better. Maybe you were wasting your time holding on to a false relationship or worrying about something that... <clears throat> was causing you a lot of stress, but, you know, and this is not wanting to, um, or not seeing that there's another opportunity. Maybe the day starts out with you unaware that there's something else, but as the day progresses, you get a little bit wiser, or you start to smarten up, or you start to see something more clearly, and you're ready for a change on Tuesday. This is this is a card of change, accepting change, being in the harmony, being in the flow, um, evolving, you know, changing your mind, perhaps. Um, wanting harmony, just, just, you know, accepting, accepting whatever this is as, you know, I've wasted my time, you know, just, it feels like Tuesday, you're, you're accepting a change, you're allowing a change, you're, you're ready for a change, maybe you're seeing that something happened for a purpose, you're finding yourself more in balance, more in harmony on Tuesday, Monday, maybe a little sensitive it may be a little overwhelming you may there may be a lot of thoughts going through your head on where it's just like I don't know you may be a little overwhelmed with by your thoughts about a relationship you know do I want this or not should I keep going should I keep trying whatever on Tuesday you're more in the flow okay you're more logical um, you're probably sick of wasting your time on Wednesday Wednesday is the 13th so this is self-doubt. I don't believe in myself. No faith. Um, somebody is under a lot of social pressure. They may be being controlled by a father figure. Uh, a relationship is no longer on the same page with the hair or font reversed. This is having a hard time doing the right thing due to society. So social pressure. But this is uh, retreating, uh, going into hermit mode, re-identifying yourself. Um, you could be, this could be a split, uh, a breakup, filing for divorce, separating, a broken relationship, going your own way. Somebody is deciding, you know what, that I don't want to commit myself to this anymore. I'd rather be alone. I'm going to, I'm going to go within. It's time to withdraw with others. It's time to reflect. It's a day of reflection on Wednesday, okay? Maybe you need to plan your next move. You want time alone. You just want to be alone. You're not sure if you, you really... There's a commitment. There's a rocky road here, okay? Just saying. It is rocky. It is. I feel like on, on Wednesday, you're wanting to completely go within and think about this commitment, okay? This is a commitment. With, if so, yeah. So, Monday seems a little... Um, distraught where you're you're thinking about the relationship and you're there's caution here it's caution all is not as it seems or you're or caution this is I'm not sure if I want this Tuesday it's like I'm ready for a change I want to change it's, this is like a roller coaster okay the temperance is like a roller coaster so you're you are literally on like a roller coaster ride here on Wednesday it's like I don't want this commitment I'm not sure I want this commitment I gotta think about this really going within and thinking so it's time out on Wednesday time alone to reflect and re-identify who you are where you're going what you want on Wednesday okay so um, I do believe there's probably a relationship that is not on the same page and somebody's really wanting Perhaps to, you know, th this goes into hermit mode. The Eight of Cups, I'm going into hermit mode. So somebody is, is thinking about going their own way. On Thursday, on Thursday, there's some sort of um, maybe pretending or ignoring the truth with the Two of Swords. This is your indecision, sitting on the fence. This is a painful, stressful choice, a decision. 
you're torn between two options you're torn between maybe two relationships or two paths you know what should you do this is blocking your emotions blocking your truth not wanting to accept the truth i got a sneeze coming <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> i was just playing with my nose anyhow um the two of swords is uh, divided loyalty being caught in the middle i think that there's a and this is betrayal feeling guilty you may on on Thursday, there's a feeling of, uh, you may feel guilty. You may be feeling guilty. You may want to protect. You may not want to be alone. There could be some codependency issues here. Um, there's blocking of emotions, um, hiding emotions, not honoring your, tr avoiding, avoiding conflict. On Thursday, you may be trying to avoid confrontation or avoid conflict at all times. I feel like you are wanting to walk away, but you don't want to deal with the pain of walking away, or something like, or or, you're, or something like that. You know, there's a, there's avoiding, avoiding, blocking emotions and avoiding, avoiding the truth, avoiding the pain. Um, the Five of Swords is some sort of battle, power struggle. Somebody that, I mean, the Five of Swords is usually, it's somebody that has no moral conscience. Not honoring the truth. On, on Thursday, we have somebody here that is staying in a situation because it, they have the power, because they, they like the power. That's the sort of power, it's the sort of truth. They like the power that they have over another person. That's the only reason. It's the, it is. On Thursday, there's a, there's a power struggle here. We have somebody here that is holding on to another person because they have complete power over them. And they like the power that they have. So I feel like on Thursday, somebody is not honoring their truth. They're giving their power away to somebody on Thursday. That's my cat. She sound, he sounds sick. He's not. I gotta open the door. I'm sorry. His bed is in here. <laughs> anyway, um, this is being defeated. Being defeated by your own thoughts or some, you or the other person. This is defeated, you know? But ignoring the truth. Blocking of emotions. You must walk away. This is walk. You must walk away. Somebody needs to walk away. I'm telling you what, but they're ignoring because they don't want to deal with the pain. Thursday is going to be a rough day. There's going to be power struggles because somebody wants to win at all costs. And this is avoiding Denial. We have somebody here that is in denial. This is a this is a hostile situation or something like that, and just in complete denial over the truth of it. So Thursday is go. This is all very painful. Thursday may be a day of fighting. There could be a fight because I don't want to. There could be. There, I feel like there's codependency issues here. I do. I feel like there's codependency issues here. It's like staying in an abusive situation because. You know, I just don't want to be alone or I need some sort of attention. You know, I feel like that's what this is. But anyway, Thursday is going to be a rough day because there's, there's probably going to be an argument. There's going to be a power struggle with an individual that wants to win at all costs. And this is complete. Um, I mean, this is she's wearing a mask, a complete uh, not wanting to accept that this isn't going to work out. You got to walk away. Anyhow. Friday. Ten of Cups reverse versus the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups is a lot of memories, nostalgia. Um, you have some memories with somebody, but it's not a happy relationship. 
So this is about thinking of the memories you've made, thinking about the past, um, reflecting on the past. But the Ten of Cups reversed is a dying dream, a relationship that is not on the same page. So on Friday, it's like there's relationship, there are serious relationships problems here. But staying, somebody may be staying because of the children, or they're staying because of the memories, or they're staying because of the feelings. There could also be somebody here that wants to reunite with somebody from their past. They keep thinking about somebody from their past on Friday. It feels like we have we have a lot of thinking about leaving a relationship, but there's a lot of memories, a lot of a lot of um there was a lot of happy times, right? There was a lot of happy times, so it's hard to walk away. But I feel like there is going to be walking away. Somebody may get may, may have got or on Saturday. This is getting caught. Getting caught. And I'm not sure if somebody was cheating. Somebody may have gotten caught cheating or something happens when they're sleeping. Maybe a message comes through. This person is asleep and it, and it, and it uh, reveals something on Saturday and, and it helps to make the decision to walk away. Okay, so somebody may be leaving. They may catch a message or they may read a message or something may pop up when this person is sleeping and it and it helps to facilitate the message. I mean, to the, the walking away, the decision. The decision is made by Saturday. Somebody is getting caught. Um, something is being revealed. Somebody wasn't telling the truth. I don't know if they were cheating. They were lying. Whatever they were doing, they're getting caught. It's going to help somebody to cross that bridge and go through a new doorway by Saturday. Saturday is seeing the truth. And making the decision to burn that bridge. And I don't I don't think it's just cross the bridge. I think it's burn the bridge. So I feel like this week is a week of thinking about a relationship that is very much struggling. I do feel like there could have been a third party. I feel like there could have been some cheating. There's definitely been some deception. There's been ignoring the truth. There's somebody that has been in denial. Um, there's a time need to take a time out and reflect on this relationship that is not on the same page. I feel like it has already ended. Really, I do. I feel like it's it's already ended, but it's, uh, somebody is holding on because of the memories, because of the feelings, the feelings of love, you know, that was there. I feel like um, they're making a logical decision this week based on the facts. I think there is something factual that is going to come out that is going to help somebody to actually walk away. Um, uh, somebody may be returning to somebody from their past and that may be part of this scenario. Um, there could be a reconciliation here of some sort with somebody from the past that, you know, aids in this. I feel like it's a separation. I do. Um, I think that somebody is giving deep thought to a relationship that, um, has been struggling and I think it's been struggling for a while. I think there's been um, a, definitely a lot of back and forth roller coaster up and down. Um, and I think it's time for you to uh, take a time out. By Wednesday, you will be. Wednesday, you'll be really. This is a week of thinking about the relationship that you have been investing in and whether you want it or not. I think by the end of the week, somebody is making a decision to. Uh, the decision is being, this is the moment of decision to stop lying to themselves or to stop uh, this whole situation, okay? There's there's definitely been some lies here, absolutely. Somebody's been ignoring it, though. It'd be in complete denial over what the truth is. Um, so, but I think the truth is, is coming out where it's it can't be denied. And there we do have, like, a goodbye. Good luck.